We're here, Daddy. Where did that stinking place? Well, baby, it's supposed to stink. That's where you, that's where you bring all your stinky stuff. It smells ripe. Well, I can't smell nothing. Ah! Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. Happy Thanksgiving. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me, I couldn't be better if I tried. Uh, a large part of the group, we went to Crossroads Cafe in Parker yesterday, had a bite to eat, some old friends, some new friends. Uh, really enjoyed that. They didn't have any turkey and dressing though. Not, not much of a, a Thanksgiving dinner when you're eating fish and, uh, what do I have? I had a salad and a fish sandwich. So here it is Thanksgiving, and I'm kind of jonesing for some turkey and dressing, I'll tell you what. Yep, it's time to go take the RV to the dump though. And here it is Thanksgiving, and I'm wondering if the, uh, the dump's even open, because I think there's a man there during the week, but I think they keep a lock on it when nobody's there. I'm gonna go find out. But I was taking a shower this morning, had water come up around my ankles. That means your gray tank's full. And I don't know about you, <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, gray water stinks worse than uh, poo water. Do y'all agree? Let me know down in the description. I guess it's who, whose poo water it, it is. You know, I got to dump that too. So I'll show you around a little bit the camp that we have here. Surrounded by old friends and new friends. Right here with... Uh, one of my best camping buddies, this is David Gone Boondocking. You may remember he's the hour shower guy. He's the one that, uh, uh oh. He got the whole RV community. This is his old rig right here. This belongs to my friend Wes. And this is the RV that inspired me to put the mini split on the back of uh, Miss Gypsy. Uh, and inside the uh, Bigfoot that I have now. Uh, David just has got this toy hauler right here and uh, he's still making modifications to it. But he's kind of backed off this channel for now. He's got other stuff going on. I have a feeling he'll be back one day. And Felix is parked right there behind me. So uh, I'm with friends and my dogs. on Thanksgiving Day. There's Felix with a hat. He's catching some sun. He's got the uh, one of the solar panels up on top of this gypsy. He's averaging about He's got 1,280 watts on his roof. He's got the six Battleborn batteries. Uh, out of that 1,280 watts, so I still can uh, access his uh, Bluetooth settings on his Victron controller. He's bringing in 450 to 650, 450 to 650 watts. All right, well, I've got 2,500 watts, and I'm averaging between 800 and 1,000. So for what he's got, he's doing pretty good. But the angle of the sun out here, if you're not tilting your panels, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get, best I can tell, about a third of, of the power. So if you come out to the west, come out to the desert, and you stay here in the wintertime, you got a thousand watts of solar, you're realistically looking at about 330 watts coming in peak. That's peak during the day. That's from, I don't know, 10 to two. So you gotta plan for that when you come out here. Now realistically, you don't need 2,500 watts. 
you don't need 1280 watts of solar. If you're not trying to defeat air conditioning and heat, I gotta take it easy, I gotta wash right here. I'm dragging my rear roller. I think about the perfect size would be 400 tiltable watts. All of the all of 400 watts tilt and three to 400 amp hours of battery. Um, an AGM would be fine. That would take care, show you around a little bit. He's got his solar. That guy on the, this, can you see right there? He's got two panels, four panels facing east when the sun comes up, and then he's got four more facing west. I think the, the tilt is where it's at. But if you're not trying to defeat air conditioning and heat, let's just say overkill, 400 watts either way. 400 watts of solar and 400 amp hours. That should be more than enough for your average to full time or even our uh, our veer. Woo, I might have should have took another path. I'll get through here. Oh, there's some pretty rigs out here today. We had a Dutch star. It's one of my favorite things to do. A lot of people like to go people looking. I like to go RV looking. There's your Canadian. See the Canadian flag flying right there? I don't blame you. I'd come down here too. We're still a little bit free down here. But my side panel, it was a better idea than laying it flat. But I believe that I'm going to have to make it where it tilts. I've got enough to make it work, but I, I don't have any extra. Finally got out of there. I sure hope the RV dump is open. That gray water smells rancid. Ooh. Look at the size of that American flag. Yeah. That's a big RV. That's the biggest flag on any RV I have ever seen. Go red, white, and blue. I don't know about you, but I'm proud to be an American. I am. The last most free place on earth. We're here, Daddy. Where did that stinking place? Well, baby, it's supposed to stink us. That's where you that's where you bring all your stinky stuff. It smells ripe. Well, I can't smell nothing. <laughs> okay, Tuck. Okay, baby May May. The dirty deed is done. Man, I'm, I'm glad and stuff. It's kind of smelly. Well, you know, it's just what has to be done. Part of life in an RV. Hold on, martinis. We got to get water, too. What do you do when you pull up to the water? You pull as far forward as you can. Why? So you don't block anybody else. It's called being polite. So while I was getting water out here, I was contemplating, hold on, Tucker wants up. There you go, bud. So while I was getting water out here, I was contemplating Thanksgiving and, and, and what it means to me. This year, has been my absolute worst best year of my life combined right i'm thankful for all of my friends that supported me when i got the the cancer diagnosis and uh i'm thankful that god put me in touch with the right doctors and the right people to treat me 
get it out of me. I'm thankful that I got a good what's it prognosis diagnosis. Cancer has one gift. So it's the most it's a horrible thing. It's a and and listen, a lot of people got it a whole lot worse than me. I I got out real easy. I'm, I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But you find out who your real friends are. Um. That's that's its greatest gift, and you also kind of figure out what's important and what's not. I'm thankful that I get to come back out here. The first diagnosis I got wasn't a good one. And I thought, I thought I was going to have to give up this lifestyle. And I miss camping with all my people I know and friends that I wasn't ever going to get to do it again. And I'm out here, I'm out here again, another... Here comes another, uh, just getting through Thanksgiving, here comes another Christmas. It's like this huge gift, this huge gift. And I'm very, I'm very appreciative. I'm very appreciative of my, my friends. I'm very appreciative of uh, the family that I have left. A lot of us have reconnected because of the cancer, actually. That has something to do with it. I'm thankful for, uh, I'm thankful that Tucker survived that bout of poisoning with eating a decon mouse. And baby May May, she's healthy. And Martini somewhere back there in the back. Where did Martini go? Man, man, you, you gotta put the camera on her. Thanks, Tuck. So, I have a lot of things to be thankful for. It's a very special Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm going to spend it with old friends and new friends again. So, wherever you're at, be good to one another, love one another, be kind to each other, and maybe take just a second to reflect. I know it's been a hard year for a lot of people, and I don't think it's going to get much easier soon. But reflect just how thankful we should be for what we've had and the chances and opportunities we've been given and the great things and people in our life. Yeah, that's it. Happy Thanksgiving from Camper Van Kevin and the Wolf Pack. All right. I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. See you in the next video. Bye.